The studio setup is near complete. We are not quite there, but I wanted to get you this video. I uh, got a couple more things I'm holding close to the chest, and you'll see behind me there's something missing. That's a story for a different day. My feelings are too hurt to talk about it right now, but you guys will know soon enough. This video here is going to be about your Detroit Lions general manager, Brad Holmes. And he interviewed with Peter Schrager yesterday. You can watch the video. The link will be in my description. Now, the first thing is Peter Schrager. I, I don't know if it was the connection, but he got to let Brad Holmes finish. Uh, it could have been a slight delay with the internet connection. And it seemed like he kept cutting him off a lot, but it was a great interview. And the biggest, what I loved about it is they spent a little time talking about the Detroit Lions, but they spent the majority of the interview talking about Brad Holmes and his, his life and what put him in the position that he's in today. He talked about, it was a great get to know Brad Holmes. We see Brad Holmes during the off season. That's his time to shine. Last year, he made a appearance when we were one and six, we traded TJ Hawkinson and that was pretty much all you saw of him. His time is between the end of our season and the start of the new one. Dan Campbell's time, it's about the team during the actual season. And he talked about how he was in the ICU. He had a near-fatal car crash and how he survived it. He was in a coma. Brad Holmes was in a coma. And he fought through adversity, not only to get where he is today, but he chronicles the whole story about from the car accident to how he got the general manager job with the Detroit Lions. And what I loved about this is it showed Brad Holmes as a person. It was a couple things that stood out to me that he said. One was when he, first of all, he had a lion behind him in his room, a picture of a lion, and not like a lion, the actual Lions logo. It was great to see. He talked about how this city loves football. And when he talked about how the excitement he got from talking about the way that we feel as fans about football, knowing what a championship, knowing what a winner brings to us. He also talked about Jared Goff and how everybody thought he was bad. Everybody was ready to turn, you know, turn the page on Jared Goff and how Jared Goff, he knew that he was good. And Les Snead asked him, said, hey, do you want Jared Goff as part of this trade? And he said, absolutely. He talked about how there was nobody on our team that he used the phrase, he had to, him and Dan Campbell had to rip this team down to the studs. That's when there's no wall, there's no wiring, there's no installation, there's nothing but bare bones two by fours. He talked about Tyrell Williams, his going on injured reserve, how they cut Brashard Perriman. This is with Khalif Raymond, a fourth rounder, St. Brown, who we didn't know that he was going to come become the star that he is. This is before we traded for Josh Reynolds or we picked up Josh Reynolds after he was cut. He talked about that and realizing that, hey, and I, I tried to tell y'all during this, this offseason for three years now, three offseasons, I've been telling you that Jared Goff is the quarterback. I get a lot of pushback in this comment section. The Detroit Lions are going to extend Jared Goff. The way that Brad Holmes was talking today, it's not going to be this year. They're going to extend him next year. So, He's going to be part of your team for quite some time. The way that he gushed about Jared Goff today or on this interview, that tells me that he's going to be around for a long time. Brad Holmes and Dan Cam Campbell believe in Jared Goff, so he's going to be here. You have to deal with it, period. Hendon Hooker is a great backup and a great way to push Jared Goff, but Jared Goff is going to be here, so you might as well throw that out the window. He talked about at the end of this interview that – said, what do you want Detroit Lions fans to know? He said, we hear the expectations. I'm paraphrasing here, but we're not done. We're not done. We haven't made the playoffs. We haven't made it to the dance. We haven't, we've done what we were supposed to do, but there's more work to be done. I firmly believe that this man, the, the trifecta of Sheila Hemp, Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, and everybody behind the scenes with the addition of Jared Goff quarterbacking this team, this is going to be the regime that takes us from the cellar and brings us to the mountaintop. I truly, truly, truly believe that. Hearing this man talk about not only football, but the Detroit Lions, knowing what we mean, the fan base, this team means to us. It was therapeutic. It was eye-opening. It was great to see and great to hear. And he smiled. So, Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, Martha, Sheila Hemp, they're going to be the ones to bring a champion to the city.
whether it's NFC North. I mean, the Super Bowl is very difficult to get to. Some people get to it, and they don't ever make it again. LaDainian Tomlinson, no championship. Calvin Johnson, they got Barry Sanders, greats, who have never won a title. The odds are getting there and winning one are very difficult. But I see not only an NFC North title, I see one of the best seasons that we've ever had coming in the future. And I see a Super Bowl appearance. And I think that the Detroit Lions are going to be so amped that they could win the first one they go to, right? What an eye-opening experience interview. Check it out. Link will be in my description. Again, the studio is not quite done. I'm still in the process. Well, you know what? I'll tell you about the lion. I did not secure the lion like I was supposed to. It fell off my wall from about five feet and wound up in pieces. (laughs) So uh, I was very upset. I did it to myself. That's all on me. I will not make that mistake again. So I should have that by the end of hopefully next week. Also, there is a camera that I need to get, a few more wires, and we are going to be ready to rock and roll. So I appreciate you guys for helping me. And and the last thing I'll say, too, about Brad Holmes is Brad Holmes showed me that it is okay to dream. If you have a goal, if you have something that you desire, like I desired sitting in front of you in a studio setup, go for it. I also have, I'll end this video with this, that there is an announcement I put out on my community tab that I hope to hear back by the end of this week that has to do with game two, the home opener of the Detroit Lions. And I hope that I get this thing and I can share it with you guys and I'll put it like this, we can have a good time. So again, thank you for bearing with me. It's almost over. We have less than three weeks to training camp. I think it's 18 days. We have 30 days or so until the preseason kicks off and before you know it man the nfl season is back so i appreciate you guys thank you for bearing with me more to come we i I want to give you the best fan experience this channel is all about the fan i want you to remember that this channel is all about the fan one fan to another you guys are awesome take care of yourself and each other and as always go lions